there for a walk and just noticed she wasn't feeling super great, so we have Amber with us. All right, so we got Amber. Tell us about Amber. She's up for adoption. She doesn't have a home she yet. Is. Okay. She's nine years old, and she's so special that she actually has a beer named after her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Lovely. The Amber Ale. Yes, the go. Ghost Runners Brewery Amber Ale is named oh, after her, and uh, we're doing a yappy hour on the 19th next Wednesday. A uh, yappy How hour. How cute is yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, Ghost Runners yeah. Brewery. Every pint of Amber Ale purchased, a dollar will go back to the Humane Society to help care for dogs just like Amber. That is awesome. Describe Amber. She's beautiful. She's like a little Oreo. She's, she is. She's like black and white. She's so cute. She's a nine-year-old. She's We think she's like a Border Collie Lab mix. She's got kind of a labish face, but then some like speckles and things like that. She's super energetic. So even though she's nine, you take her out in the backyard and play fetch with her. She's like a puppy. Like, yes. Feels feels oh, and she loves it. Turn Rachel. Now, oh. is she pick up a bull? I, I'm over on my side. I still haven't even laid eyes on Amber yet. She's she yeah, she's really like 43 pounds. I so, think. so no. No, you. Would, I mean, you could oh, look her up. Like yeah, oh, she's a cute. But you wouldn't. Yeah, she's not a. I'm she does. You to pick she her up actually has saying. the energy of a puppy, though. Oh, she's yeah. like so energetic and fired yeah. up, and she's got I a really fun she, tail wagon. She'll just crash out and like take a nap for a while, and so she's a great like mix of both worlds. She's chill, but she likes to play and like get in there and do fashion. She'd be a great dog to jog with. That's for sure. As opposed to your dog, which is mostly just a drag, right? Well, she's 90 pounds. She right. walks me. I don't walk her. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, adopting a dog or going to a shelter and finding a dog, it's just, it will make you feel amazing. I, yeah. my, I was going to go to a breeder and get a Great Dane because that's what I wanted to do so badly. And my daughter says to me, you know, Dad, there's a lot of dogs that need a home. And you'll save money, and you'll you could save a dog's yeah. life, and it, you'll feel better. She's only 16 years old, and I so that's what I did, and it, it just it's an amazing feeling. You just feel like you did something, not just for yourself, but for the dog, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're telling Stephanie, who gets to see this every yeah. day. Yeah, yes. with yeah. all the furry yeah. babies finding homes. How how often do you guys follow up with the adoption, the people with the dogs that go out the door? We we get I mean we get phone calls, emails, letters pretty much every day from people who are like, I adopted this dog, it's amazing. I actually I'm working on the walk run for the animals event right now. Yes, which we can't wait for. We'll be there. Yeah. May sixth. So I went to go order our runner bibs, which are the numbers that runners wear. And I went with the company that we always order from and he was like, Wait, what humane society are you with? And I said, the one up on one ninety second in Vancouver and he said I just adopted a dog from you guys last night. Oh, cool. Yeah, so he's sending me pictures of like the new dog, like three or four pictures. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's yeah. going really well. Yeah, they become kids to you. Totally. Oh, yeah. so what does somebody need to do if they want to adopt Amber? So they, I would recommend heading over to selfishme.org slash adopt and learn a little bit more about her story. She does need to go to a home with kids over six, and we do recommend that she's the only dog in the household. But after you learn a little bit more about her, uh, we open up at noon today and you can come in and do a meet and greet. If you have family, we recommend that it's a good idea that everybody comes in just to make sure that everybody gets along before taking the dog home. That's But that's the great thing about adopting a dog. Because you, you go and buy a dog when they're puppies, you really don't know you what you're the getting. Dice. You're rolling the dice. Sure. But you, like, did you hear all that information she just gave you about this dog? So you know that up front. Okay, so when you take it home, you don't want to have another dog in the house and all that. I mean, it's it's the best thing in the world. You also get the resources of kind of our adoption counselors. So if you're having an issue, you're always welcome to give us a call and say, I'm going through this. And we have dog trainers on staff who can give you advice of, hey, try this, try that. Have you thought about this? So we're here for you even after you adopt. I mean, because it is a change in your family dynamic. It's oh, another really? family member in essence. It so that's yeah. so cool. So there's two ways to get information. You can go and find out at uh, swhumane.org. All spelled out. Oh, Southwest. Southwesthumane.org. Go to that, and you can find out how to adopt Amber. And also, we encourage you to look into the walk run for the dog. So yeah. if you're a runner or a walker, you want to get out on a nice Saturday morning, come hang out with us and bring your dog with you. It's a fun event. May 6th, we do it every year at Esther Short Park. Uh, this is going to be your first time, Tony. Yes. It is so much fun. Not only are people there with their furry babies, there's there was tortoise. There's I've seen tort a tortoise there. I've seen <laughs> mini uh, horses. Mini horses, oh, all alpacas. kinds of yeah, alpacas. <laughs> it's just a blast. It's my, my little Lulu. She's seven. It's her favorite event we do. It's awesome. We cannot wait for this year. So go find out details at 987thebull.com. We'll post a little link up there with a picture of Amber as well. She's beautiful. Get in line to adopt this little girl. Good.